Hey you guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel and I am so excited to be filming this week's plan with me. You guys have no idea. I am doing April 8th to the 14th, which is Game of Thrones season eight premiere and I am so freaking excited. So of course, I have to do a Game of Thrones uh, kit and I am very, very, very excited about this kit. Um, I don't know, whenever I saw Caress Press release her kit and she has the clip art to this in her shop, I was like, oh my God, Stephanie has to do a kit using this clip art. I just think it is amazing because it's not your typical Game of Thrones themed kit, I guess you would say. It's not like you see the characters really or anything. I don't know, it's just so different and I love it. I love the colors and I just think it is adorable. I honestly had the hardest time just picking eight boxes and I ruled out the double box just because I didn't want to give up another one of these boxes, if that makes sense. So. Anyways, this, if you guys are like, what are you talking about? This here is a kit from Beautiful Planning. I haven't even mentioned it yet, but Beautiful Planning is my go-to sticker shop and it is a printable kit. You get like five or six pages, maybe more, um, with her kits. But what I do is I do the crop method, so I pick and choose what I want to use. So that's why mine looks like this. Yours would not look like this. Um, and then also, too, I do have glitter headers, and it is on this page here, so sneak peek. This kit, though, I'm not going to use until June, I think. But it's a Little Mermaid-themed kit. I believe Coffee Doodles was the one. Yeah, it is Coffee Doodles. She was one that drew this kit. But yeah, this is in Stephanie's shop. So if you're a Little Mermaid fan, definitely pick this kit up. It's super cute. But anyways, I just have the glitter headers here on this page. Because I do the crop method, um, I can't fit everything on one page. So I have to do it like this way. But it works for me um, most of the time, as long as I don't forget something. But anyways, I'm just, oh, I'm so excited about this. I actually... Wasn't sure if I was going to even be able to film this plan with me this week because I'm currently filming this. It is Sunday night, the 7th. It is 1045 at night too. I don't think I've ever filmed a plan with me this late, but um, I just, you know, it's just kind of how the day went. But anyways, so yeah, I didn't even think I was going to film this plan with me, not because I didn't want to, but Stephanie hadn't finished the kit. And so since she hadn't finished the kit, she hadn't even started either. So she actually started the kit and finished the kit all in the same day. She is freaking amazing. But so I was like, okay, you know, the kit's not even out yet. So I highly doubt I will be able to, why can I not get this to line up? Um, I probably won't be able to film the plan with me because I do the crop method. I mean, if I just print and cut every page that she gave, she gives, you know, you in a kit, then honestly, I don't think I would have any issue. But doing the crop method can take time, you know, when you're trying to fill up a page and technically fill up two pages because I don't want to waste anything. But it all works out in the end. But yeah, she released it and I actually helped her pick out um, what should go in the full boxes. So if you guys pick up this kit, I hope you guys like <laughs> the full boxes because I gave her a lot of... Um, I don't know what the word is that I'm trying to think of to say. It's not inspiration, but it, it's not, not advice either. But anyways, I don't know what the word is I'm trying to think of, but I kind of told her like, I think you should do this as a box and this as a box and this as a box. So I don't know, maybe that's why I love the full boxes so much. Um, ideas, that's what it is. I gave her a lot of ideas. So anyways, I just, I just love them all, honestly. They're just so perfect, especially the one. I wish I would have picked a redhead though for this box here because it's just like a little girl, like not a little girl, but a girl anyways, you know, looking at like a Jon Snow magazine or whatever, you know, with hearts, like obviously she's like fan yearling over him and I wish I would have done like a redheaded girl because it would have been like egret looking at him if that makes sense um so yeah, I don't know I just thought that would have been cute especially because I have you know two girls and then oh my gosh the Starbucks cup which I doubt you'll even be able to read but I will read it to you and, <laughs> and this is just perfect so it's I hope you guys like Game of Thrones because otherwise you're gonna be like what is this woman talking about but Game of Thrones is amazing it's one of my favorite shows I'm obsessed so it says Daenerys Stormborn of the House Targaryen, first of her name, the Unburnt, Queen of the Andals and the First Men, Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, Breaker of Chains and Mother of Dragons. And I don't know, I just think it's perfect because it's, you know, Starbucks and they write your name 
on your Starbucks cup, you know, whenever they take your order, and that is literally her whole name. So I don't know, I just thought that was kind of hilarious, a great touch. And I love this box too, Moon of My Life and My Sun and Stars, so, you know, Khaleesi and Cal Drogo. I love the little baby ghost. I love this with Cersei as like a, um, a dartboard. I think that is just hilarious and it's like so yes. And I love the underwears with like the little like names on the butt. I don't know, I just think it's cute. And this one I love too. Dracaris, bitch. If you guys don't know what that is, um, that's what Khaleesi says like f to the dragons to like put fire down on them. So anyways, yeah. I, I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. I try to map out my full boxes and as you can see, oh, I don't know if you guys can tell because it's so light. I changed my mind a lot. So I don't even know what I'm doing right now, honestly. But um, I changed it because I realized how I wanted it to go. It was going to go like three, three, and then I think one here. So I don't know. I'm, I'm switching it up. I also was originally gonna put a full box here and then a full box here, and I just thought it would look weird having like a space between full boxes. I felt like it needed more space. So, I don't know. I hope it all turns out. I really want this to just turn out really, really good. I am gonna do silver foil as well. Um, I'm not gonna be, well, I, I guess I am gonna put down one silver foil because I'm gonna put down like the weekend banner and silver, but that's it. I'm not gonna put down um, anything else uh, foil-wise other than like I have these silver icons here and these my friend Bailey made me. She also made me the foiled weekend banner. She doesn't have a shop, but she just made them for me because she's an awesome person. Um, but yeah, so I have that. I also do have foil that I got from um, Scribble Prince Co. She did a boil, a boil? Really, Brittany? A boil? She did a foil bundle, and I got two of them, and it was just honestly such a great deal, so I was like, okay, if I'm gonna pay shipping, I need to get two, because it was definitely worth it, in my opinion. I do have a sticker haul up on that. I will have that in the iCard, so if you wanna check it out if you're into hauls and things like that. But oh my gosh, it is seriously so good. So I was, don't know when I'm going to use, because I got a lot of foil from that bundle. You get you get 30, I think it's still for sale. I'm not 100% sure. I actually was thinking about getting more. But you get 30 sheets for 20 bucks. So a really good deal. And I, ha I got a lot of foil, a lot of different stuff too, and I really like it. But I was wanting to save it um, for like big weeks, you know, like if there's just like, if it was like my birthday or my daughter's birthday, which they've already passed, but like my husband's birthday, things like that. I don't know, just like big events. I was like, okay, I'll save all my foil for that. But I really kind of want to foil this one up. I, a part of me really wants to foil it up. I have been watching Game of Thrones like crazy the past two weeks. I feel like that's all like in my planner. If you look at any of my planner spreads on Instagram, like if you actually like read what you know they say, it's it's like Game of Thrones binge, Game of Thrones binge, like that's it. I'm currently right now on season five, episode one. I have watched all of the Game of Thrones episodes before. I mean, I'm completely caught up. I've watched all of them, but I had nothing to watch, and I was like, yeah, hey, you know what? It's probably a good idea if I just. Oh, come on sticker. I cut these kind of all the way through so I put tape on the back to keep them from like being completely cut out. And so when that happens, sometimes it's a pain to pick up the sticker off the page. But anyways, so yeah, I was like, oh, you know what? I probably should rewatch everything from the beginning because with Game of Thrones, honestly, it can be kind of confusing to watch if you're first trying to watch it. It's a lot of moving parts. It's a lot of damn characters. It really is. It is so many characters and it gets kind of confusing. And the names are, you know, different names, which I don't know. It's not like you're, you know, like Brittany and Jessica, you know, it's Cersei and Sansa and Daenerys, you know what I mean? So it's just, sometimes that can be confusing too. Like I know like, Tyrion and Tywin. I remember when I first watched it, I'm like, wait, who's Tyrion and who's Tywin? Obviously, I know who they are now, but I thought they were the same person, and it's like, no, they're they're not. But anyways, yeah, it's really, there's something on my page. Hmm, I don't like that. But it's, 
it's just a really good show. I highly recommend it. And I have no one to talk to about this show. So if I talk about it a little bit too much, I probably will definitely in this plan with me because hi, it's a Game of Thrones kit. <laughs> but um, if I talk about it like in the future too much, I will apologize now. I will never give a spoiler though, I promise. You have my word. I swear to it by the old gods and the new gods. <laughs> That's something they say a lot in Game of Thrones. I've been speaking a lot of Game of Thrones tongue too. I mean, I don't know. Do you guys do that too? You watch a show or a movie and you just start like saying lines like you're from that show or movie. Yeah, that's me. That's how like into Game of Thrones I am. I love it. And like I said, I have literally no one to talk to. None of my friends are into it. It makes me so sad. My husband won't even watch it with me. So I just have you guys to talk to it about. So I really hope y'all are Game of Thrones fans. Comment down below, do you love Game of Thrones? I really hope all of you say yes. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm a big fan as you can tell. And I'm so excited for season eight. I was trying to decide what I wanted to do if I wanted to wait to watch it um, as far as like let a bunch of episodes build up and then watch them all at the same time. But honestly, I can't do that. There's no way. And people spoil and oh, that makes me so mad too. But anyways, but yeah, people spoil stuff and like open their mouths and ruin it. So I'm like, no, 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 no. I will not have that be spoiled for me. So I'm just going to watch it. Well, I want to finish because I just feel like it would be weird because like right now, like I said, I'm on season five, episode one. I just feel like it would be weird if say I'm still on season, say I make it to like season six by the 14th. I want to kind of finish season six and season seven, you know, before I start season eight. Because then I just feel like it would be weird that I watched so many episodes, but I didn't finish the whole series. I hope I'm making sense with that. I feel like I am, but who knows? So my goal is to definitely finish season seven by Saturday the 13th. Uh, that's a lot of TV, I'm aware, but thankfully I don't have a lot of plans going on this week. So hopefully I can make that happen, but we shall see. But I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. Comment down below too. I guess your favorite character. My favorites, well, it's hard. I, I will say this too. I don't know if I should, because just in case there's anybody new or still trying to watch. But they always say do not get attached to characters because no character is safe on the show. So they warn you that, like the directors and the writers, like don't get attached, no character is safe, everyone is, you know. I've never read the books either. This is a book se series by J.R.R. or George R.R. R. Martin. And, um, yeah, I've never read the books, so I know if there's people that have read the books, then they already know exactly what's going on. Except I know they did change some things um, from the books to the show. Just like most shows and movies do. They always gotta put a little twist on it. But, yeah, a lot of people die. A lot. There's a lot of main characters, too, in the show. So I guess they can afford to kill off a lot of, a lot of them. But... I don't know, thankfully some of my favorites since the beginning too are are still with us. So that is nice. I guess I won't say anything just in case there is some of you still trying to watch and like maybe like watch it for your first time and catch up. So I won't say anything just in case, but yeah, I'm I'm happy. I think how many are still alive of my favorites? I think three. Yeah, I think three of my favorites from the beginning are still alive, but I could be like missing some people. But for sure, three stand out like immediately in my head. But I don't know. I'm just really excited. I'm very, very, very excited. I, I know I've said that a hundred times already in this, but I just am. I feel like I need to get a drink of water. Also too, by the way, I'm gonna try to talk as much as I can. I feel like I'm not having a problem with that at all right now, but um, I, I don't know a hundred percent sure. I've never been tested, um, by like doctors or anything, but I'm pretty sure I have, I'm allergic to dairy. I'm pretty sure. And it's because I, the reason why I say, and it sucks too, cause I love dairy. But the reason why I say this is because every time 
I drink milk, eat a lot of cheese, have ice cream. I had cheesecake last night, which was a big mistake. Um, yeah, basically anything with dairy. Anytime I have dairy or a lot of dairy, um, my throat starts to feel like it's constricting and I start to feel like, um, like it's closing in. I guess that means constricting. And let me fix this splitter header. And I feel like there's a bunch of phlegm in my throat. And so I'm constantly trying to clear my throat to get rid of the phlegm, but there's no phlegm to clear. So I was doing that a lot. And when I try to be conscious of it when I'm doing it, like if I drink dairy, I'm, or, or I mean, if I have anything with dairy in it, I try to number one, not have so much of it. That way my throat doesn't have that react. And that's the only reaction I get. I don't get, I don't know what other reaction I could get. I don't get any other reaction. It's always my throat. Um, and it's pretty instant um, too, which is why I am pretty sure it is dairy. I don't have this reaction with any other foods. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. So that's why I'm pretty sure it's the dairy. But anyways, I clear my throat constantly because I feel like I have phlegm, but yet there's nothing, nothing comes up. And I was doing it not even really realizing I was doing it yesterday when I was giving my daughter a bath and I was doing it so hard and that's when I was like, I don't know, you guys ever like have a bad habit that you do and like biting your nails and you don't realize you're doing it until someone tells you stop biting your nails. Yeah, well that was me with clearing my throat except I caught myself and I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, I bet you I'm gonna be in so much pain later because usually when I clear my throat too much, I get a real bad sore throat and that is what is happening right now my throat is just killing me um so yeah and literally i would probably say like 30 minutes later my throat felt like it was on fire yesterday after i was constantly clearing it and yeah it's just killing me and i'm i know i'm not sick i don't i mean watch tomorrow i wake up with like a stuffy nose or something and i really am sick but I don't think I'm sick because I don't feel sick and this is just kind of the normal protocol every single time I have dairy. So I know, why do I have dairy? Well, because I'm just a moron. I love Cheesecake Factory. Like, first of all, I love Cheesecake Factory for dinner, but I also love cheesecake and their red velvet cheesecake is the best ever. So freaking good. And I don't know, maybe that's why gluttony is a, a deadly sin. <laughs> because I was being gluttonous yesterday. I knew I shouldn't have had all that cheesecake. I can't get this freaking glitter header up. It's gonna piss me off. Um, I knew I shouldn't have had all that cheesecake. I probably should have just like had a couple bites and that be it, but nope, I couldn't stop. And now I'm paying for it today, or my throat is. And I am the biggest baby when it comes to a sore throat. Sore throats and headaches, and yeah, I'm I'm a goner. I'm just the biggest baby with all of that. So uh, today's been pretty miserable, and I know it's probably not helping that I'm filming this playing with me, but I'm just gonna suck it up, Chuck. I love doing playing with me's, and I I just want to film this so badly. I was actually so sad when I, because I really thought I wasn't gonna be able to film this playing with me this week, or it was gonna go up late because whenever Stephanie released the kit and I was not gonna pick a different kit. I was like, heck to the no, I am doing this kit. I don't care if she puts it up two weeks late. I am doing this damn kit for this specific week. But um, anyways, so yeah, I was kind of sad, but oh, I'm so happy now. And I'm, I feel, haven't been this excited about a kit and I don't know how long, to be honest. I just absolutely, Love the clip art, Caress Press. I know she's not the one that draws everything. She has someone that like, like someone who does it exclusively for her and she'll release like the kits with the clip art first in her shop and then she'll put them on Etsy it's for other people to buy and then they can make kits. So, but I don't know who it is that actually, you know, draws the kits for her, but I just, I, this clip art that she's been releasing, I am just obsessed with. I feel like I've been, I've said that a lot lately. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm just really, really, really into all of the clip art they've been releasing. There's been, I think, two more, two or three more things that I've seen her release, and I was like, oh, Stephanie, <laughs> did you see this? <laughs> like, trying to bring it to her attention. Oh, by the way, I did white out the asterisk just because, um, 
the flags are like white and purple so I figured the black asterisk would show through and also I did white out the lines here I just did it in advance that way y'all didn't have to watch me go and do all of that because I'm sure that would be boring and it would save me from doing extra talking but I do know there's some people that are obsessed with that noise of of white out like the, the clicking rolling sound I know that people really like that that noise and like peeling up of stickers and things like that so if you like that and I rob that noise from you I apologize but ooh, come here girl all right I'm gonna go ahead and of course she has to be oh no did that go down yes damn it Oh, and you do see the black lines. Okay, well, that's going to have to go. Well, hey, look at that, you guys. You're going to get to hear the clicking after all because I am going to go ahead and remove that line. Let me see if I can get some of this. Typically, I don't see the, the black dots through the... um the full box there so I don't know I'm kind of surprised that it actually did show through but I guess it's the first time for everything I typically don't even use white out but I want this kit to be perfect so I don't know we'll see I'm still debating in my head too what if I want to use foil overlays because like I said, I don't have any plans to use them anytime soon for anything specific. Like the only thing probably that I could think of that I'll want to use it for is maybe in June, my daughter's dance recital. It'll be her very first dance recital. So I feel like that is definitely a special occasion. And then I really don't have anything. Oh, I will definitely be using a bunch of foil for in August for the SPC planner party. Oh, I love this girl. Am I still filming? Okay, good. So yes, definitely I have to use foil um, in August for the SPC planner party. That is a, a must, like duh. And then that's it. I don't really have anything else major happening where I plan on using foil. My only thing is I just want to be like really like careful and cautious because I don't want to use it all up and then like be sad that I don't have any anymore if that makes any sense by the way if you hear snoring in the background that is my dog wiggles I have a pug and she snores very loudly so I have the habit tracker here that is going to be for tracking my medication I am on per um, I cannot say this word properly I, I really have to think about it I don't know why but anyways I'm on progesterone uh, my husband and I are trying to conceive. We have been for a while, and I got some testing done. I've talked about this, I, and then well, I, I daily vlog also in case anybody's new to my channel. So I do daily vlogs. So if you watch those and you and well, you're up to date on all of them, then you know everything going on. But um, I've mentioned it in a few plan with me's. But anyways, oh, I love this. I love this so much and the colors. Um, let me go ahead and get my silver foil weekend banner and just lay that down now so that is over with. But, um, so yeah, I got tested and my progesterone is just a little bit low, they said. So I am currently on medication for that. And I think I've been on it for two weeks. I think this will be the second week. Yeah, this will be the second week. So I have to be on it for about two months and then I'll get retested again to see if my progesterone went up and hopefully it does. I'm going to do this upside down just to make sure I kind of line this up properly. So I hope it, it does go up. I'm praying it does. Um, but yeah, so since we've been trying for just over a year and it hasn't happened, um, you know, I'm not getting any older. I am 33. So I was like, you know what? I think I want to go and just see someone and just to make sure nothing's wrong. So my progesterone wasn't like, like crazy low or it was like awful, but 
Um, it was lower than I guess where it should be, and so I've been taking that medication. So anyways, yeah, that's what this habit tracker is for, is taking that every night. The Monday through Sunday, that is my husband's work schedule because it changes all the time. It's so confusing to keep up. And then this is a like checklist for next week because I really like having a next week so I know what is gonna happen the week ahead, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I debated whether or not I should do gold foil with this because it has kind of like gold little bits in it, but I did do gold with this kit here, and if I can try to avoid like gold, like the same foil colors, then I'm gonna try to avoid them. You guys, I'm, I really think I wanna do some foil because I am so excited and giddy over this week. Just beyond i honestly didn't think i would be this excited but i am i am so pumped up about it so this is some of the foil that i have like i said it is from the foil bundle but i just get like i guess nervous because i don't want to use up all the foil because i don't if you guys don't know this about me we are um i am very much into budgeting we are a single family income so i don't splurge on stickers and kits and things like that and this is why i do printables you know so anyways um should i just use the single box here i think i want to this is a sampler uh kirsten sampler so if you use kirsten 10 you can get this. I've never laid down like a foil overlay, so I feel like my chest is like beating out of me. I actually have tweezers right here, and I never use tweezers in my video. Who the hell am I? Who do I think I am? Using tweezers all of a sudden. And it made a mark. Oh Lord, I'm nervous. Okay, maybe this is not a good idea. I'm really nervous. Jesus, take the wheel. But this is my favorite box right here. That's why it's on Thursday. Typically my favorite box goes on Thursday and I don't know how this is gonna go but I think I did it oh my god I did it I did it I've never put down you guys a oh do you see that oh my god Jesus take the wheel I'm in trouble I'm in trouble like I said we are single family income and so I am very much into budgeting and you know I don't go crazy with stickers. Um, because of that, I wish I could put like a thing here and I can't, so I might do one of these, maybe just like one in the corner, not two, but just like one, or I guess I could do two. I don't know, we'll see. Let me just leave that there. Um, but anyway, so I don't know, I have 12, so yeah, I. I will I'm not gonna be like a crazy person buying this foil even though I'm gonna want to be oh my gosh I don't know what to do next um should I put one on the Game of Thrones I, I kind of like with the like the overlays I don't want to put one on every single box I just feel like that would be way too much and I also want to be like use these sparingly like I said so I'm just trying to think what other box I would want to use it on. I feel like I'd only want to use it maybe on two boxes. I'm thinking maybe three, maybe do three, and then I will put, okay, so I'll do these corners here. And none of these match, that's the only thing. I wish they were two of the same, but these kind of do like with the bubbles. I'm just trying to see. I could always just put one, but I feel like two would be good. And I would want to put it this way because I, I know if I put one there, it would cover her face. Okay, so I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I'm sorry I'm taking so long, y'all, but this is my first time doing this. And so I'm just like nervous and I'm kind of like surprised that I'm actually using my foil. I didn't think I would be using it anytime soon, but first time for everything okay so I think I'm gonna use this one and I want to put her right there I think oh that's cute and then I saw this one this one looks kind of similar to it so I figured that would be a good choice so I am done with this page oh my gosh 
I seriously feel like a giddy little schoolgirl, like putting down this stuff, like, I don't know. Oh, you guys are probably like, this girl is a mess. And I know I am, but I'm just excited. Oh, I feel like you guys get me though, because y'all are planner, planner peeps too. So I feel like y'all get the excitement. You were probably this way too when you put down your first foil overlays. Cause like I said, this is my first time. I've never done it, but ooh, I like that. Yes, I like that. And I think it looks good like here. That way it's not covering her. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I think I'll do two more. And I have the double lined ones and I have the confetti. I just don't know if I wanna use two of the double lined or two confetti. I guess that's like the thing. I feel like I should do two of the double lines cause I don't, I don't have that much confetti. So I guess that answered that question. Um, and like I said, I got all of these from that foil bundle. Like it's, it's pretty amazeballs. I really love this box here. I really do. But the only thing is, is that the top washi, or not washi, the top glitter header, it does overlap it. So I don't know how I would get this to go on properly. I don't know if that made sense what I'm saying, but to get this to where you don't see like these like black line spaces and so I don't have to white out everything because I'm just not into that, I have to overlap the top glitter header. So if I want this to line up properly, I have to kind of really look at it honestly. All right, so I hope I can get y'all in frame, but if not, you know, this is for good of the realm. <laughs> Another Game of Thrones reference. Oh, you guys are probably gonna be so sick of my Game of Thrones references, but I cannot myself. I love this show. Okay. I think, well, I've already seen so many Plan With Me's. Once you put these suckers down, like you are fully committed and nope. Are you really committed though? How committed are you? Oh no, it's, 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 it's legit. You are committed. Okay. It's not crooked. It's just a little bit, I should have pulled it up a little bit more, but it's okay. I don't think it's really that big of a deal. So yeah, it's just a little bit of the foil line is on there, but I just, I don't think it's that big of a deal to be honest and I think it looks cute okay so I am happy with that and I just have to pick one more and I feel like it's gonna have to be wolf uh, or not wolf he is a dire wolf but his name is ghost just because I kind of want one on each if that makes sense like each line I already have one on the top so I want one in the middle and then do one on the bottom so yeah I will put it on ghost here and I love the little baby ghost it's so cute if you guys don't know like understand that reference um that's ghost well he's a baby but um this is Jon Snow's dire wolf and if you don't understand why he, why he has a pet wolf it's because he is part of the Stark family sorry I'm just like extra concentrating here and their sigil is a dire wolf. And all of the houses have some sort of sigil. So anyways, okay. I am so happy. I really wish I had glitter header overlays in silver, but I don't. And when I got my, um, my grab bag, I didn't get any of the silver foil headers. If I did, then I would have definitely put those down, but it's all good in the hood. So anyways, yeah, if that SBC foil bundle is still on sale, I definitely suggest it. It is pretty balls, and I, I probably myself, actually I don't need this binder anymore. Probably myself might get another one or two, not going to lie, because it's really great stuff. So that's all the foil that I'm gonna do. Cause like I said, I don't really have that much. And then I'll bring in these like foil icons as well. 
um, whenever it works for me. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I hope you guys can see it. It's very like, like light, light. I can't speak like the line strokes are very light so I don't know if you guys can see it that well but anyways it looks really cute and I'm excited so all right now we can finally go day by day I still can't believe I just I shocked myself just now I really did I did not expect myself to <laughs> bust out the foil overlays I kept like going back and forth and debating but anyways all right shut up girl nobody cares anymore so I'm gonna go ahead and start with Monday then for Monday I just have, um, well, I guess I have a few things. I have this video here, this Monday plan with me. So let me go ahead and put this YouTube sticker in. This is a sticker that I created to mark my uploads. So if you do pick up Stephanie's kit, you won't see like, oh, did you even see me that whole time? You won't see this because this is something I created on my own. But anyways, this is for my plan with me. And then also on this day, it is my cousin's daughter's birthday. She's turning 12. Um, so it's my second cousin, Haley. It's her birthday, so I definitely wanna mark that. I'm just trying to think where I wanna mark everything. So I put this in here. I have room for one more thing here. And then I also have, I'm just thinking, sorry guys. It takes me a lot to think. I can put something here, here, no. Because where I want that to go is right here. Here, here, here. Actually, let me put in first my dog. She's going to the groomers and she needs her flea meds. So let me get this appointment label. She's going at four o'clock. So I want it to go in this box here. I was hoping to get her to go in like first thing in the morning, but they only had availability at four so beggars can't be choosers i was like all right give it to me i don't take her to the groomers every single month i do like every other month but homegirl is stinky she needs her anal glands done okay that is crooked so i figured you know what let me just get get it done with i'll just pay them this time to do it i think that's still crooked so that must mean my glitter header is a little bit crooked. Oh, come on, work with me here. Yeah, my glitter header is crooked. I don't know if this will still peel. A little bit it does. Okay. Sorry guys, yes, I am picky AF when it comes to things being down straight, so. All right, so that looks good. So I'm gonna use the foiled stickers here that my friend Bailey made me, and she does have a paw print, so I'm obviously gonna use that to mark the groomers and my dog's flea meds. So let me see here. I scratched that one. <laughs> my gosh, Wiggles. She is snoring so loud. I don't know if y'all can hear her, but. All right, you know what, let me just grab one. Okay. Yes, Wiggles, we hear you. Can I bust out the tweezers? Just because with the clear stickers, it does make it easier to put them down. And there we go. So that is for my dog. Now let me try to figure out what I wanna do with these balloons. I'm just like trying to see like how this will line up properly. Maybe I'll just put it here. That way if something happens, I'll just put it there. I think this might be the best bet. So I will put, hopefully you guys can see. It's hard to see because it's a very light purple. Um, it's like a purple white color, but anyways, yeah. So I just have the plan with me, Haley's birthday, and then the flea meds and groomers. Okay, that's it. So for Tuesday the 9th, I surprisingly, I don't have anything. So moving on then to Wednesday, I do have a couple of things to mark on that day. First and foremost, it is a bill due for us. So let me just, I like to put those at the bottom. So get you guys in a frame there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down this blue bill due and that is for our care credit, which I'm hoping we're gonna have, 
Once we get back our tax refund, we will have that paid off in full. So hopefully that money comes in any day now because we filed taxes like two weeks ago. Um, but okay, so I have a bill due. It is my mother-in-law's birthday and then it is um, a Cincy payday for me. So for my Cincy payday, oh, I just realized it, that's a blue color too. It's like a blue teal color. Um, I don't know if you guys can like see how like strong and powerful that color comes out on camera here, but she is shining. Um, let me see. I might switch it to be honest. Yeah, I might switch that bill do. That way it's not so much of the same, same color, but. All right, so anyways, let me go ahead. Let me put this flag in. Oh my gosh, Wiggles is snoring so loud. I, I, you guys have to hear her, I'm sure you do. Okay, so anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in this flag and this money icon, which the money icon, I made myself as well. I just got in the habit of making, um, before I started using printable kits, I did my own, so I just got in the habit of still using some of my icons and things like that. So if you're wondering why I still use my own versus Stephanie's, that is why. I just got I just got used to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move the purple bill do here. That way it's not so much of the blue. And then I have, like I said, my mother-in-law's birthday. So I obviously wanna mark that. So I have, where do I wanna put this though? I guess that's the question. So if I put something here and then here, yeah, I guess I'll put this here. Same spot. And then I can always fit in one more thing like right there if I need to for Wednesday. And okay, so that is everything then for the first half of the week. And then moving on to Thursday the 11th, I have nothing. Friday, I have nothing. You guys can see my life is so exciting. Saturday, I do have three things. Oh my God, it's so funny. I have nothing, but then the one day I have something, I have three things. So three must I don't know, be the thing for this week. So anyways, let me go ahead. First and foremost, my daughter does have dance lessons. And that is first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Just gonna use this label here. Actually, that has to get scooted down. What am I doing? Because of the sticker that I'm gonna use. And so I use her dance lessons. I mark it with a really cute little ballet character sticker. This is from Ramona and Friends. She has a printable character sticker shop. So same as Beautiful Planning, Stephanie, the kit that I'm using, um, it's printable, meaning you have to print it and cut it yourself. It's not, you know, they don't ship it to you, so. Anyways, but yeah, I really like Ramona and Friends. She has a lot of cute characters. She has a lot of, a lot of good stuff too, I feel like, so. Um, yeah, I really like her stuff. She's one of my go-to printable character sticker shops. So if you're looking for a printable character shop, there you go. I will have her link down below. Sadly, I do not have a coupon code um, for her. By the way, did I mention this? I do have a coupon code for Beautiful Planning. It is Brittany15. I will have it linked in the description box or I'll have it written out in the description box. But yeah, it's just Brittany15 and that'll save you 15% off, no minimum. I feel like I didn't mention that, but Maybe I did, but I don't know why. I just feel like maybe I didn't. I don't know. Anyways, well, if you don't know, now you know. I have a coupon code. Okay. So Saturday is our Honda payment. So I just put the blue bill due there. And then the only other thing that we have, which my daughter is so excited about, which I'm thinking of maybe I need to move this bill due. Ugh, me and moving all my crap. But it's only because my dog, she's so excited. This will take up, hmm. I just don't know if anything else would like fit in there in that like little space. That's my thinking. And so if I move this here, maybe, then like something will definitely fit here. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, and I'm gonna put this at the bottom. The birthday party is also, actually it's right in front of me. It's late at night. It's from seven to 8.30. Um, 
I mean, this is the first birthday party we've ever got invited to and we're going to. That's not at like someone's house, if that makes sense. So anyways, yeah, it's one of her dance friends' birthday. She's turning four and so we want to obviously go. So we are. And yeah, I don't know, my daughter's just so excited. She's just so excited that she got invited to a birthday party and I'm really excited for her. So, um, and it's, uh, I've never been to the, well, we just, if you're new to my channel, I feel like I'm stammering now over my words. If you're new to my channel, um, we moved from San Diego to the Dallas area. So we're still pretty new to the area. And I don't like know everything, like or everything. So where we're going for the birthday party, I've never been there, I've never heard of it. But I looked it up and it does look um, fun. So I think she will have a blast and I think it'll be a good time and just good for her to like see all her dance friends. So it's funny, she'll have dance in the morning and then that night she'll see her dance friends again for the birthday party. So of course none of the munchkins, I'm just gonna use the munchkins to mark the birthday party, but none of them match course so and I don't really have any other birthday stickers oh I have a sampler hold on I do have a sampler from coffee monsters co I got oh yeah I also got this in my sticker haul this is my, my birthday present to myself so if you want to see my sticker haul check it out and see all the goods I got I didn't order birthday stickers but I ordered the three-year anniversary sampler and so see if it was a princess theme party I would use a princess but it's not it's a shimmer and shine theme so let's see I think there's a there well he's holding a heart balloon I guess that's kind of like birthday but not really my camera stopped filming what's new so anyways uh, moving on to Sunday the only thing I have to mark is Game of Thrones and it's at night so I obviously want to put it at night I'm just debating if it's too like it's a half box I don't know I printed a half box thinking that's what I wanted to put it in and now I'm thinking maybe that's a little bit crazy to put that in there but it's the premiere so we're just gonna do it and now the next big question here is I've been saving these stickers for the longest time because I noticed the sticker here. Where is, it's a sampler too. Uh, Kirsten gave it to me, my friend Kirsten. And I was like, oh my God, it is a Jon Snow. I don't know if you guys can see that, it's Jon Snow. And then there's Daenerys Targaryen. And it's like, who do I wanna use? Jon Snow or Danny? And I don't know. I feel like I should use Jon Snow though because the color, well, he's wearing like a dark navy blue. Her dress actually matches perfectly. Oh, this is a hard choice. Who would you guys pick? The Mother of Dragons or would you pick Jon Snow? And these are, I said, remember I said I had three favorite characters. So these are two of my three favorite characters. So now you know two of my favorite characters. So it's not like I can say who do I love more because I love them both and Oh, I'm definitely gonna save one for the finale. And I'm gonna use one now. I just don't know which one, why our decision so difficult. Um, you guys can't even see. I opened up my, my, my full spread just to kind of look at it. How big is this sticker though? That's pretty damn big. But it's so cute. I might cut out the crow just to like remove it so I have more writing room. I don't know though. Oh, I can move ghost out. Yeah, see it has ghost and there's ghost right there. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna use this one. I just feel like this one will be best. The crow can go a little bit into the, the glitter header. That's fine, that's fine, we're cool. Yeah, and I can just put like, I'll probably just put like GOT season eight or something like that. So I don't think I'll be able to fit in season premiere with my writing. If I move this over a little bit, maybe. Okay, I'm committing. It's down, it's done. Um, anyways, like I said, I got this sticker here from my friend Kirsten, but the shop is La Petite Paula. Um, yeah, La Petite Paula. I will put the name in the description box. I'll try to see if I can find a link to the shop, but like I said, I don't know. 
Um, but oh my gosh, you guys, I am excited. And I've been saving this sticker for, like I said, the longest time just so I can use it to mark that. And then I will use Danny then for the series finale. And I'm so heartbroken and devastated that it's coming to an end. All right, I'm done with these stickers here. Um, now we just need to do deco. So let me zoom you guys out so you can see what's going on. That's the wrong way, Brittany. Come on, camera. There we go. Maybe. All right, let me get a sip of water. Hold on, you guys. So here's what my spread is looking like, and I am obsessed. Seriously, I'm obsessed. I'm in love. I'm so happy that I did these. And honestly, like, it doesn't even look bad. You can't really even see that the line is there, so... I'm not even tripping. So let's go ahead and get the deco in here. I really hope it doesn't take me forever and a day to get all the deco in. But you guys know how I do. I love the underwears, you guys. I'm like not even kidding. The underwears are like one of my favorite things. So it says hashtag Yas Queen, Stark. And then this one says Khaleesi. And then the other one says Lannister, whatever. Does anybody really like the Lannisters? I mean, honestly, does anybody? I feel like if anybody says yes, they like the Lannisters, then they like Tyrion. And there you go. There's my third favorite. I said it, you guys, I said it. Tyrion is my third favorite. So those are my three favorite characters. But yeah, I feel like those would be the only Lannisters that people genuinely like. I can't imagine them liking anybody else. Um, oh gosh, I can't talk about it because I feel like if there's anybody who hasn't watched it, I don't want to ruin anything. I would feel really bad about that, but it's hard when you just want to talk about it. Um, I think I'm going to put this one right here. That's, is that cute? I think so. I'm trying to spread these out evenly, but I don't know if I'm doing a good job or not with that. Come here, child that and then maybe i'll move the stark one down a little bit these are the a little bit bigger but yeah i wanted them bigger okay so the next big sticker i have here is what the hell get off my planner is ghost baby ghost he's so cute i love the wolves i love the dire wolves I'm obviously um, a fan of the Stark House. I would definitely, uh, I don't know. I'm hoping I would, you know, be born into the Starks. <laughs> if I, you know, was a part of the show, I am definitely Team Stark. Comment down below, who's your favorite house? Who's your favorite house? I, I feel like most people would say Stark, but I don't know, people surprise you. So, I guess we'll see. But yeah, comment down below. I'm really curious. Now that I actually said that out loud, I'm really curious to know who your guys' favorite house is. So, definitely let me know. You can't, I can't really say the Targaryens because just like everything that you hear about them, it's like, how could that be your favorite house? I would not want to live uh, during those times. Heck to the no. Like when they were the rulers, I mean, the Mad King and everything. No, thank you. I'm trying to decide, do I want to split these up? I think I do. So I'm going to put Moon of My Life over here and then um, My Sun and Stars over yonder. I think that would be cute. Maybe right there. No, right here is cute. Um, okay, I like that. And that's right, oh, that's right by Khaleesi. How cute. I didn't even plan that. I think I'm going to need more deco though, to be honest. I was actually thinking about that when I was printing and cutting this kit. I was like, I really don't think... Number one, I made the deco big enough. And number two, wait, oh yeah, pillows. It's like, I don't think I made the deco big enough and I don't think this is like gonna work, but I'm hoping that this is. But, okay, so I got that and yeah, I think I made, I don't know, it's so hard with the deco. Like I thought I had it figured out, you know, how much deco I needed to print and cut and all that crap. And then, and like the sizing of it, I thought I had that figured out. And then I jinxed myself and that plan with me. I was like, oh yes, I have everything figured out and blah, 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 and who cares? And nope, the gods laughed at me. 
Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry with all the Game of Thrones. I can't help myself. But, um, but yeah, so, no, it didn't work. And ever since then, it's just been like me trying to figure out what will work and what doesn't work. Okay, I think, yeah, I like that a little bit more. Cool, coolio. I used to say that all the time in middle school. I would say coolio, oh my God, that's funny. Okay, I have two pillows left and then I have washi and I have these pencils and the pencils, I don't even think I could read what the heck. The, it says winter is coming, mother of dragons. Wow, I can read. What does it say? Mother of dragons and no idea. No, no bloody clue what that says. Um, where do I want this to go? I like maybe with the book because hi, it's with the book. I have these small, small little washies. I mean, these are super tiny. I should have definitely made them bigger, but well, whatever. YOLO. I don't want to put the washi there. I feel like that looks really weird. Um, okay. Let me figure out these pillows. That's the same color as the underwear. So I don't want it there. So I will put it here, but how? There's no space. What other pillows do I have? I have these ones. I can move the coffee cup and it'll fit. Okay, I'm hoping I can get all this deco to work. I don't know, you guys. I'm trying to... Um, doesn't look so bad. I guess I've seen worse. Let me move this stark underwear up just a smidge, but it better not rip. I wish I had the little twinkle like the twinkle deco, that would be really cute. And then I could sprinkle it in and that would add a little bit more. Oh well, one day. Maybe one day I will have that. But I feel like that would be really cute. Okay, I think this needs to be maybe moved over just a smidge or maybe if I do it crooked or slanted, then maybe this pillow. Yay, it did fit. Okay, cool. And then, I just don't know if I like the washi there, but I don't know really where else that would go. But, oh, I really like this. I think this looks really cute. I hope you guys are still here with me. But, okay, let me see if I can try to give you guys a wiggle to see the full boxes. So there's one there on Ghost, on this cute one here, and then the underwears. And then I have the, I can't think of what that is, but you guys know what I'm saying. And then the weekend banner. Okay. So anyways, yeah, this is how my spread is looking. I'm obsessed. I'm actually really, really, really happy with it. I was a little nervous, not going to lie, because I just want this kit to turn out well, because I'm so excited. Hopefully you guys didn't mind me rambling on and on and on about Game of Thrones. But yeah, definitely comment down below and let me know if you guys are a fan of Game of Thrones, if you'll be watching it as well. But I hope you guys did enjoy this plan with me. Please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!